Valentina Rossi, heir apparent to the Rossi Jewels Empire, was a walking contradiction. By day, she navigated the treacherous waters of high society, a captivating mix of couture and cool confidence. But beneath the million-dollar facade, a fiery passion for jewelry design simmered, a pursuit deemed unbecoming by her family. Tonight's gala, however, promised a glimpse into that suppressed passion, the unveiling of the eternal light, a legendary diamond necklace shrouded in mystery. The gala was a constellation of wealth, twinkling under the harsh glare of spotlights. Valentina, however, bypassed the social peacocks, her focus unwavering on the mesmerizing display case. The eternal light, a cascade of icy diamonds culminating in a single massive gem that pulsed with an inner fire, was breathtaking. It wasn't just the craftsmanship, it was a raw emotion Valentina felt resonating from the stone, a connection that sent shivers down her spine. Suddenly, the room plunged into darkness. A collective gasp rippled through the crowd. When the lights flickered back on, the case was empty. Panic seized the room. Security swarmed the stage, their expressions grim. Valentina, though outwardly composed, felt a cold dread creep in. The eternal light, gone. Later, Amidst hushed whispers and accusations, Valentina noticed a peculiar detail. Adrian Stone, a renowned marble sculptor and her assigned guest for the evening, seemed oddly agitated. His gaze darted around the room, his hand constantly fiddling with his tuxedo. Curiosity, a trait often overshadowed by her socialite persona, peaked. Valentina, with practiced ease, drifted towards him. Her smile was cool, her voice laced with concern. Adrian, she began. The blackout must have been frightening. Are you all right? Adrian, startled, stammered a reply, his hand tugging on his jacket. Valentina, ever the observer, noted something shift under the fabric. It wasn't a weapon, but something delicate. A flicker of doubt sparked in her mind. Later that night, after feigning a headache, Valentina slipped away from the watchful eye of her entourage. Guided by a hunch and a simmering rebellion, she made her way outside to find Adrian getting into a cab. It didn't take long before she was at a secluded home. As she approached, she caught movement through a window and investigated. The scene before her took her breath away. It was Adrian's studio, but he wasn't working on one of his sculptures. Spread on the table weren't stolen jewels, but an array of tools. Tiny hammers, delicate saws, and a magnifying glass. In Adrian's hand, he held a single, uncut diamond, its rough exterior catching the moonlight. The renowned sculptor, she realized with a jolt, wasn't a thief, but a gem sculptor, meticulously transforming a raw stone into a breathtaking masterpiece. He looked up, startled, his face etched with a mixture of fear and defiance. But before he could speak, Valentina did something unexpected, a slow smile spread across her face. Beautiful, she said, her voice genuine. You have a gift. The tension in the air dissipated, replaced by a hesitant understanding. In that moment, Valentina didn't see a man or a thief. She saw an artist, yearning to create, trapped in a world that valued security over beauty. And she, the heiress to a jewelry empire, saw an opportunity to break free from the constraints of her own gilded cage. Together, under the soft glow of the city lights, they formed an unlikely partnership. He, the sculptor with a secret passion for a different medium, and she, the heiress with a rebellious heart, would rewrite the narrative of Rossi Jewels. One exquisite piece at a time, the stolen necklace, a mere spark, had ignited a revolution far more dazzling than any diamond. This revolution, however, wouldn't just change the world of jewelry, it would forge a bond between them, a bond far more precious than any gem.